Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2022 year-end top tens as we are going to look at my number um, eight middleweight in the world right now at 160 pounds. He is the former two-time WBA champion, Ryota Murata of Japan. Murata, um, Murata entered uh, 2022 um, a after not fighting for nearly two years. Um, actually, it was over two years when he got back in the ring as he, you know, COVID had a lot to do with that, but um, also Japan's restrictions about COVID. Um, he had a fight with Triple G that was lined up and they finally got it together in 2022. Um, he hadn't fought at all in 2021. And he was also uh, number seven, so he only drops one spot, but he came in and he actually went to war with Triple G for the first five rounds. He was very much in that fight. He was doing, doing okay. But then Triple G just being, you know, even at 40 years old, being just a great Hall of Famer, um, you know, just uh, wore Murata down, broke him down, and stopped Ryota Murata in the uh, ninth round of that fight as Triple G would take the WBA title from um, from Murata. And Murata would, would take the rest of the year off. Um, so heading into 2023 now, Murata's 36 years old, so he's up there. Um, he's 16 and three overall, 13 knockouts, but he is the WBA's number two contender. And, um, you know, for me, I really believe that he needs to get right back in the mix right away. Um, you know, I'm not sure if, uh, if Triple G is going to follow through with his back-to-back -back mandatories because he has Esquiva Falchow first, which is the IBF mandatory. And then he's slated to face off against um, Arislandi Lara next, who's the WBA regular champion. And um, where that leaves Murata, with him being the WBA's number two contender, is kind of you know unknown. But Murata can get back in the mix by jumping into a mandatory. You know he could go into a mandatory fight, go after uh, the uh, the champ. You know whoever the champ is, uh, he could go. You know he can go after it like that try to get back in the mix because the thing is, is triple g's not going to be around forever and he's probably going to start vacating belts if he has to fight uh what would be a meaningless uh rematch against a guy like murata you know he handled him he won convincingly he stopped murata so there'd be no point so he might be able to jump into a uh you know another fight against somebody else so um uh for the vacant title but i really think if murata jumps back into the mix he can get into a final eliminator here in 2023, you know, at, at the very least, and he could be knocking on the door of another another title shot after that. So um, we got to see, we got to see what goes down. But I think Rio Morata needs to strike while the iron's hot and try to get right back in the mix. And uh, maybe he maybe he should go after uh, Jonabek Alan Canuli. Maybe get a, a shake off fight in the first half. And because they're both with top rank, they both work with top rank, maybe he can get himself, uh, you know, a title shot in the second half of the year against Zonabak, Kazakh style, for, for the WBA belt. Again, he competed, even at 36, he competed against the best, who's considered to be the best middleweight in the world right now, still, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. So, you know, there's no shame in that. He can get back in the mix and maybe go give hell to one of the other guys. And I think Jonabek would be perfect in the second half of the year. First half of the year, even if, if, if he's not planning on going after the WBA belt, the one he's ranked highest in, first half of the year, just come back, shake it off, make sure you're in the WBO rankings, and then boom, go after second half of the year, try to get in the ring with uh, with Jonabek Alam Kanuli. That would be huge for him. It would really, it would really uh, be a beneficial fight. And I think it's a fight he should try to take. So um, that's it. That's what I got. That's the um, that's my number eight middleweight in the world right now. The former two-time WBA champion, um, Ryota Murata from Japan. As my 2022 year-end top tens continue. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.